Well, it's very difficult for you people, any of you, to understand what mean those days coming from one of the communist countries. You know, 99.99999% of those people, they didn't have two liberties. First, the right for information and the right for circulation. I always say that uh, myself and Nastasia, we are the only two privileged Romanians for one single reason, that for you it's as normal as to have breakfast in the morning or uh, uh, a piece of bread in the afternoon, to have the passport and to go and to come. It's true that we always respected the rules, we play for our countries any time that we are cold, and uh, probably that was the best time of my life. You know, I didn't choose tennis because of tennis. The first time I have a racket in my hand was when I was 15. I never had a racket before in my hand. And two years after, I played Davis Cup. I was a good athlete, no talent at all in anything. But at that time, I was a very good ping pong player. And I was already in the Olympic squad for hockey. So the switch the total switch from hockey to tennis was in 64 after the Olympics in Innsbruck. Then I say enough and enough. And then I, maybe I have one of the very few qualities that I have is to know what, when it's enough. And I say enough with hockey and I concentrate on tennis. Why on tennis? For commercial reasons. First of all, because we could go and eventually jeep under the table $50 a week or uh, sell uh, cognac in Russia and come back with the uh, Pobeda watches and sell it in Romania five times more and do uh, trade business all over. Uh, and B, because you could live every single week. So saying that, I jump from one sport to another.